I've got two more Riesler bars to put in. So I hit my number three numeral key, which tells me where my last node was and where my first node is. Use your numeral three keys. They are so handy. They prevent you getting horrible little jump stitches which get in the way. Okay, that's my travel line. Now I've got three colours going at the moment because I want you to be able to see in a minute where I've been and what I've done. Now get back over there. You, I wanted to lay another node. There we go. Let's move him up into position. Down. Move him around. Come beyond where I want to be. And then go and change my edge type. Up over at the top of the right hand parameters box. And click on straight. There's my last node. I come back and I come to the middle and I drop a line straight down into here and I put my lock in across back and because it doesn't like actually being put down onto a previous node tell that generate stitches come off there come pick up my tool again set it for satin now it's actually changed itself to my loose density one. I didn't change it, it did it. 1.1 wide. Hit my numeral 3 key. That gives me my f last node of my previous object, first node of this object. Cross to there, generate. Hit my tool again, come down to satin stitch, density five okay width one point three with that two millimeters of pull comp that actually makes that one point five wide okay hit my numeral three key gives me my last node which is also my first node drop down to here tell that generate Click off, go and get my tool. Click on the curve edge. I find it actually quicker than right clicking and saying to curve. Come beyond where I want to be. Arrange that node. Now I go straight back to straight edge. Drop a node back bring it forward to where I want it to be, straight across to this side and create my lock by dropping a stitch one side, then the other side, then below where I want it, up into position until that generate stitches. Go and pick my tool up, tell it I want satin, width 1.1 okay hit my numeral 3 key drop over to this side tell that to generate pick up the run line tool again come back over here click on satin density 5 Tell that OK, width 1.3. OK, hit my numeral 3 key and back up to this edge and tell that generate. So now let's look at what we've got so far. I'm going to drop it down a little, take it into 3D, and I changed the colour of the thread. So as you could see, I'll blow this up a little bit. 
this is where I started. I'm going to lose the magnifying glass. I started here, I put my lock stitch in, I crossed, made a big V, came back with my open satin, entered that, came back with my density 5 satin, collected my run line tool and ran around to here, made my lock, entered those, came down here with the loose satin, back with the tighter satin, or hang on, yeah, I came down, up, up, across, back with the loose satin, down this way with the tight satin. Came along, up through the cherry, and this is all acting as loft for the final satin stitch. And then put locking the stitch in and straight across. Came back with the loose zigzag and then went over with the tight zigzag. And then travelled around here, down here to this. And you saw these on the video. And then I did my three passes. One, two, and then I split these into two separate lines. One stopped and entered, and then the second part stopped and entered. Then just put a little walkway over to here, made a fresh lock stitch down here, and I made a bridge at the bottom with the ordinary run line stitch, locked it, and straight up to there. Entered that with a lock stitch and then came back and up with the open satin and then came down, entered it, crossed, up with the closed satin. Then used the travel run to take me up around here and continued like that. The three passes on each one and travelled in between each one using the run line stitch. So there are no scissors apart there's scissors on that one. Where's he? Up there. Edit. Oh I do hate scissors. So snapped nearest. He's okay. Snapped nearest. He's okay. Generate. No, scissors are still there. Why are they still there? So create connection. There shouldn't be any scissors anywhere on this design. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pathetic? That's too small to even see. I'm going to knock that into normal. Edit. Let me drop that off. Edit. Right. Finish. Delete. Where was he? That one. No, it wasn't. I had a whole pile of these rotten toady things. Edit. There he is. No, it isn't. I do hate this. I can't even see... There it is. I see. Okay, let's drop that off. Edit.
snapped nearest. Let's see if that has cured it. Let's see what we've got down here. No, that's okay. I can't abide scissors. Snap to nearest. Generate. Scissors have gone from there. 